Welcome back to GA style people and today we are in a different place again <laughs> um, Unfortunately, I'm not being able to work in my unit uh, Due to a loss of one of the colleagues and blah and stuff like that uh, Not the best thing really but uh, Things happen and um, So basically my unit is busy full of cars trying to fix whatever he hasn't finished and <clears throat> whatever could be saved and that sort of stuff so I'm getting this part here uh, just before actually my unit for a couple of weeks so I can actually finish this build so today I've got carrying and we will be finishing off the sound system basically if you remember I was building the Rockford Fuzzgate uh, twin box for two Rockford 12s and uh, <laughs> I did the sound in the caddy as well all the back has been deadened still like I say need to finish them two doors I will do that later on date but that's all in so what do we have we have Rockford Fuzzgate components that will go in these pods in here something like that as long as I know and, and then cables are here already as well then we've got components that will replace the alpines that are in the front and then we have two brand new Rockford Fusgate amps one 4 channel and one monoblock then we've got Excess power of D4800 battery, which is getting installed as well. Along with that, uh, I will be, I will be, will be fitting an upgraded alternator. I believe this is 200 and something amperes with an external regulator. So that's all gonna have to be wired in. Um, yeah, for the starters, what we'll need to do is, and another, and another thing is, the big three is going in here as well. So we'll be upgrading the cables. Well, basically, I'm gonna add on more cables to existing cables. That's what I'm gonna do. And basically, get rid of the battery. And then zero gauge as long as I remember 52 square meter cable this is all the stuff right out on the table um, this <coughs> this cable here is going to be for the big three and this cable here will go from the battery to the to the SMD distribution block which is just here nice and shiny there we go SMD distribution block so this thing is gonna go on top of there we'll make it so it comes off so for the servicing for the bloody whatever you call it <laughs> forgot how to say it and uh, basically from battery we'll go into here two cables and from there then we'll go into the cabin and then two separate wires will go one four gauge one four gauge is gonna go for the four channel lamp and then 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 this two gauge or whatever it is that will be going for the amp Stinger voltmeter will be installed at some point as well. Three sets of RCAs, loads of wiring, fuses for the fuse holder. What else? What else? What else? Conduit for the ground, so I can, because I'm going to be using the same thickness red cable everywhere. So I'll just, I'll just put in the conduit so it's a different color, and all the other goodies, whatever I'm going to be using, ferrules, whatnot. So, for the starters, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pop this 
old alternator rod. So basically what you do is, see that little thing in there? Basically you're going to have to do that winded back and pulley so I can undo the belt. And then two 13mm bolts, one on the top, one on the bottom. We'll take this bad boy out and <coughs> then basically I'm going to add another cable because look at this teeny weeny cable to charge the battery that's gonna get scrapped we will have a new one well I'm gonna add on another one on the top of that and then then what else what else what else this is some sort of aftermarket ground already been done probably take this one off and make it Properly or I'm gonna find the existing ground for the engine which I believe be underneath it So I might have to lift the car up and uh, And find that one in there We'll upgrade that one and then basically from Battery whatever I need to do ground as well upgrade it because it is thick but we'll put a thicker one so everything is getting supplied properly and obviously then we'll wire external regulator <coughs> into there because this has to go to remote turn on and off so ignition on off i will hopefully find that in there should find that in there if no there should be some inside of the cabin I believe there's another fuse box in there so that shouldn't be a problem basically I need to strip all this out as well for all the cables oh my god sorry I'm freaking yawning again so we'll take that out get rid of that fit the new alternator I'm not gonna film how I'm doing that um, just to save me time and get this done quicker big three I will just show you at the end of it how it all looks in this part and then basically from this part I will be filming all the rest, all the cable wiring and whatnot because we'll be building some 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 sort of like amplifier rack well all this cable needs to come out as well so I need to do some stripping you take all the seats out <coughs> I'll pop all the seats out passenger and the driver's side so basically just strip the car that's what I'm gonna be cutting on with now so next time when you actually see me now I will have all the seats out panels out and the big three is gonna get done and the alternator is gonna get installed as well then i will show you everything how it goes in blah 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 so yeah basically let me get caught on and we'll see how this thing turns out Ta -da. right then <coughs> thought i will give you a little bit of an update uh, it's actually day two uh, of me doing this stuff uh, so basically the big three is done ish apart from i might be putting a fuse holder on there so basically what we have is we have this ground a new ground wrapped in the special cable thing and it's basically attached directly normally to the alternator body and it goes to the chassis properly drilled through thick part and obviously all the paint was taken off I don't know if you can see it yeah, it just goes there <laughs> then from the alternator factory cable got kept that goes in the fuse box and um, might have to upgrade that thingy there sorry <clears throat> the fuse for that but I'm not really sure that I even need to because I don't think that cable will be rated for pulling that much power so you don't really have to upgrade that I think so so but I'll figure that one out when it all goes back up in life if that fuse goes I've got spare ones and then we'll make it work properly and basically one run goes straight from the alternator to the 
to the positive terminal battery excess battery is in then we've got decent ground now instead of that teeny weeny wire whatever actually not that teeny weeny wire to be fair so but anyways that's been done too also I've got one cable running from the come on get on there bitch so one cable is going here for the base and four gauge cable is going for the four channel amp so all I need to do now is I actually need to feed my wire through uh, which is here so that's my cable to pull cables through I'm gonna, obviously I'm going to remove the battery we'll pull the cables through the 2 gauge or 0 gauge whatever what it is and the 4 gauge this is still all in here haven't done much about it apart from uh, I took the power cable out <clears throat> but what I need to do now is I need to take all this apart um, strip it all out there's kill mat as well for the back doors uh, strip all this out get rid of all the old cabling run new cables RCAs uh, remote wires everything everything needs to be run through now then I need to make amp racks <coughs> well amp plates whatever I'll probably be bolting them down to the floor that's that's something I'm gonna have to look into what I'm gonna be doing <clears throat> but other than that um, I'm gonna have to get down the stripping really of the interior so it's all ready for me to run all the runs and uh, all the rest of the stuff really yeah so basically that's what I'm gonna be doing right now take all these seats out I think they're like splines I think number six splines multi spline uh, take them out and then see if I will have to take the full box out which more than likely I'm gonna have to so so yeah um, I'm gonna possibly actually put this on a time lapse now then 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 once I got the seats out we'll begin to do some wiring hey happy days man Yeah, I take a cold hard look at the world now. On my hand, yeah, got a plan now. I'ma help be the change cause I can now. Here I stand now, take my hand now. No pain, no gain, no shame. Work hard, play hard, okay. I think I get it now. Don't wanna let him down. I'ma take the ground and speak my mind down loud. Here I go, proud of my notes. Teach him what I wrote, teach him all the hope. Keep him on the road, the road to the dream. All I need is a team, build your own self esteem. You can do anything, prove everything. Say what you mean and believe in your dream. Find that thing that you love, that you really wanna be, and don't give up till you've given up. Absolutely everything here. Yeah. Give me a chance now to prove that you're something in your own head. All these thoughts you're confronting. We've all been there when you feel like you're nothing. Shut that shit down, crush those thoughts, and just trust me. Right, so the seats have come out, I took some cables out, uh, I need to get rid of that uh, RCAs there, that go in the, the head unit, that is going to come out, and also I'm going to take the center console apart as well, because I want a nice decent access to everything, so by the look of it, there's not that much to take off, I need to take this off. And then that comes off somehow on the other side. What do we have on the other side? Other side's pretty much exactly the same, yeah. And then that part should come apart from there. So yeah, basically 
get rid of all this this comes off here so take the glue box off here four bolts one two three sorry three there six there so this part comes off and then I believe there will be some bolts there uh, to take this all shebang apart um, I'm actually gonna see if I can I'll just be able to see anything if I put it there I'm gonna try and get this in a time lapse but I'm not sure that it's gonna be a good quality video though but um, I'm gonna try like so enjoy the show peeps if it's any good so bye bye Fuck that, yeah, you heard what I said now Don't cop out, make a plan instead now You got this one life here and now To feel the sun on your skin and to see the clouds There's nothing out there quite like living Sending simple things, watch a kid and you'll get it It's no heaven, but a damn close second You can always find someone new has a much better But can also find someone that has a much worse Just a cup that full, do you have that curse? Turn it all around, put your mind in reverse When everything hurts, go listen to these words Your life on this earth has so much worth You just have to find the right state of mind that works Cheers Give me a chance now to prove that you're something in your own head, all these thoughts you're confronting We've all been there when you feel like you're nothing Shut that shit down, crush those thoughts and just trust me Well, as you can see, I've managed to strip this all Everything's been stripped Now it's time to get the cables in Um, Yeah, really, cables are the next thing that needs to go in uh, oh my god so the plan of action is run the cables and bring them to here I was thinking at first to do um, like outline and stuff like that but no I'm just gonna have squares just squares because I don't need anything special as long as they just sit down that's all I need really and then we'll see if I can actually mount them through the floor seal them up so nice and neat so it's for the other side because base amp is going here and four channel amp is going there then i believe so that factory loom is still in use yes it is so speakers are still getting run through the factory system which is really good for me and there is only two speakers so the rear speakers are never meant to be but rear speaker solution we have special pods and the cables there already which are going to get attached to the corners and these are the feet for them so these will run down here somewhere power is going to come in everything's going to come in this one needs to be extended i believe a little bit because i want to took it in behind there so it's not be to be seen and that Maybe it's not, not really extended. To be fair, I won't even need to do anything for it. If I just attach it on the bottom there, running along, it might be alright. Might be an alright. But if war, I can still pull some cable. Well, actually, I'm pulling it right now. So as long as that doesn't move. Because it did push quite a bit in, like that. And this should pull, like that. So there we go, now I've got plenty of cable for my left side. And there is still plenty of cable for the speaker as well. So, well basically I've just managed to sort one thing out. Um, definitely do some test of taping with them cables because factory factory power loom has been deleted due to the can bus things whatever I don't know but everything looks decent enough to me just needs to be taped up and stuff like that um, factory loom factory loom factory loom that's a good question so I've got pre-made, pre-made uh, wiring that I did for my Fiesta a while ago and that was a van and believe so that loom will fit in here 
because that loom was only for two speakers because I'm not going to be using the factory factory speaker loom anymore it's useless all I need is, is the power side so in a sense this can well actually it cannot because that plugs onto here so we'll plug that onto there and run a fresh loom just for the front to the amplifier I'll show you later when I dig the wiring loom out so that's quite straight forward, forward really uh, once I run all the cables in there I can start upgrading the doors because Rockford first gates are going in and then we've got three hours to go on the top with uh, specially made for caddies uh, three hour pods well pods seats adapters plates whatever you want to call them and again this is one of our local guys well not really local but it's uh, one of the UK guys you probably might recognize him somewhere at some point uh, he supplies these Crown Customs so these actually be able to sit flush and this is his logo if you don't know Crown Customs Core Audio he does all prefabs and uh, he's a really good guy He's somewhere down south, not from northeast. Um, so we'll be installing them, taking the old Alpine. Well, it's new, but gonna be old now. <laughs> it's still new. They're still like really good speakers. But if it's a full rock for Fuzgate system, you might as well do everything rock for Fuzgate. Apart from the head unit, which is a shame. Rock for Fuzgate. If he's listening, he's need to do head units. All these companies should do the head in it because it would be nicer to have the full set. But never mind, uh, that's not the, that's not important. What is important now is for me to run those two runs of cable, which I have just right here. Fucking hell, let me go smashed in the head with one. Who I once hit me leg with one of these. Trust me, you don't want that. It fucking hurt. Left a massive bruise for about four days or something like that. <laughs> but it's my own fault. So, cables. Cables, cables, cables. We need to get them through. Power for that to be fair, I'll strip this part off so I can get better access through there. To be fair, I'll cut out the wooden bit and I'll cut out the wooden bit there's the MDF for it go cut that out and get them carpeted hopefully I've got carpet in here as well to be fair I'm not gonna carpet them just yet I'm just gonna cut them out so I can put them down so I can actually mount the amp ish somewhere where I want it to be and then kind of run things to it and whatnot RCA's three sets going into there, one set goes into the amp for the base, two are going for the four channel amp so yeah I'm gonna run cables first and then I will go do the wooden bits off camera but I'm gonna put you all on time lapse now and I'm gonna start running all these bad boys yeah yeah